right in today's video did you ever wonder how you clear your cmos on your motherboard if you are adding and removing hardware uh whether it's gpu stuff in the pci slots some memory if you're adding and removing stuff sometimes the new hardware you add may not get recognized let's talk about graphics cards for example, you remove a graphics card or you had a couple on there, you add one and then now it doesn't recognize it. And uh, you're like, what is going on? So you may have to clear the CMOS. Uh, on these motherboards, they don't have built-in integrated graphics on the CPU. So it's gonna be hard to tell what's going on on boot up. So you need to have a working GPU so you can see the display. On this little i5 down here, this is a little working rig I'm playing with. I have an Intel 5. On this, it has built-in integrated graphics. What does that mean? That means I can plug right into the motherboard on the HDMI slot and see the boot up sequence and get into the um, boot menu, the BIOS menu, and start making my tweaks. Integrated graphics versus non-integrated graphics. Need to know that stuff. My preference is buy a CPU with integrated graphics. It'll make life so much easier when you're troubleshooting and setting up the rig or your computer, whatever you're setting up. All right, so on this motherboard, I'm going to show you two different ways, old school and new school. This is an MSI X470 Gaming, I think. Yeah, X470 Gaming plus Max. What you do you have to power off, shut down, power it off, right? And unplug the power cord from your PSU, your power supply. Unplug it, wait, I just wait 30 seconds, right? There's this little thing called, I don't know, little electrons floating around. You want all that to di dissipate and just chill out for 30 seconds after you pl unplug the uh, power cord from the power supply, right? Some say five seconds, just wow. You got an extra 25 seconds, big deal. Just to make sure it's all clear. Once you have the power unplugged and you wait it a little bit, on this motherboard, look at this, they make it so simple. It says CLR, I don't know if you can read that. CLR CMOS, it's upside down, but you get it. And uh, you always want to retain, re keep your manual when you buy your motherboard. Keep that manual. <clears throat> you can find the stuff online, but it'll show you all the jumper settings and everything across the top of the card here, uh, the motherboard. So you need to know that crap. It's good to know this stuff. Learn it. It'll make you a better human. Uh, anyway, clear CMOS, power's down, power is unplugged from the power supply. You waited 30 seconds. Press and hold that. I just press and hold it for like five seconds and release it. Blammo. That is all you do. There are other ways to do it with jumpers. If this button wasn't here, you'd probably have to jump two pins. I'll show you that in another motherboard in a second. So there you go. You do that. You wait another. Just wait. You just cleared the CMOS. Boom. You can, uh, what I would do with your new hardware, plug it in now before you power up. Put your GPU in or whatever you're putting in. Put it in now. Now plug everything back in. Boot up. And you will probably need and most likely 100 percent it's going to say you need to you know go in and set some stuff up in the bios or ignore it right you're going to get that little menu screen pop up you need to see it so you have to have your gpu in or your integrated graphics to see the boot up sequence you want to see if you have to go into the bios and reset all the stuff you just whacked by clearing the cmos but this typically will let your new hardware be recognized a new gpu or new whatever you're sticking on this board uh, that is the old clear CMOS way. Look in your manual, guys. The manual is there. Keep it. Never lose it. Put it in your bookshelf. Don't lose it. You can find them online, but why? Just have the old printable copy they give you when you buy the thing. All right, let's go down here for the fun. Old school. We're going to get on the ground, get dirty. Going to get dirty, big daddies. All right. This one is old school. This is an old ASRock. 2014 2013 and what you're going to see here this is a live board baby i know people get all bent out of shape oh my god he's working on a live patient big deal 
Just don't spill water or short or anything out. You're good to go. Oh, can you guys see this? Where's my little thing thing? Where's my finger? This board is also labeled for an old motherboard, right? They're all usually labeled. I don't know if it's focusing or not. I got this stupid cable in the way. There's a fan moving. The worst case that happens, your fan gets, your finger gets all mauled up a little bit in the fan. Not mauled, but it just kind of jolts you a little bit. All right, on this one, it says there's a little label above the little, I guess that's a capacitor, resistor, whatever. Uh, am I too, too much light? If you can read that, it says clear CMOS. There we go. CLR MOS. Yeah, it's right there. So let me do this. It's right there. And what there is on it is this little plastic jumper. See that? What you do, same sequence, power shutdown, you know, graceful shutdown. You don't window. You know what Windows or your OS get honkered up by just unplugging it. Shut her down gracefully. Unplug the power cord from your power supply. I just wait 30 seconds, man. Go, go, get, a, go get something to drink. Come back. Then what I need to do is take this jumper right here. I'm going to try to get a good angle for you. Take that jumper. It's on one, two. There's three pins. It's on one and two right now. What you want to do, boom. Pull that jumper off, move it over the pins from one and two. You want it to cover now two and three. Let it sit there for a few seconds. Again, power's off, power cable's unplugged. I usually put it on there for, you know, just leave it on a couple seconds. Make sure you just jump in the pins, right? Uh, you don't even, It doesn't matter how long you keep it on. It's just a matter of you actually jumping the pin two and three on this ASRock motherboard. This is a H77M older motherboard as rock it works it's great hardware is this stuff is durable man this stuff lasts as long as you take care of it right don't spill crap on it keep the dust off it and you should be good to go so jump take it off the default one to two put it on two to three powers un undone right cords out boom put it back put your hardware in you want to hook up like here i got a splitter oh my gosh let's see Right there, you got your splitter. And that was my new hardware I added, and you boot up. And in this case, there's a GPU attached. Let me show you this. Oh, boy. Is I working on a car? I gotta get a workbench. And then there's my GPUs. Have its own power supply and everything. And when it comes up, it's gonna say, hey, your CMOS date time need to be set. You wanna go into the uh, menu, the BIOS menu. And set accordingly, and then you should boot up normally. Now, this is an Intel i5 CPU. It has built-in graphics. 2014 computer baby. Uh, so, good little CPU at the time. I'm able to boot up without having the HDMI cable on the GPUs right here. I can put it in the motherboard and boot up and then be good to go. So, anyway, point being multiple ways to reset or jump or clear your cpu now one more if you lost your manual and you can't read the motherboard it says clear cmos on it right what you can do you go down find your little battery this is your motherboard's battery it retains all your bios settings um it helps keep juice so it retains all your bios settings not the battery um what you can do, same thing, power down, unplug power, wait. What you can do is pop out this battery. There's a little, little detent in there. Little, see that little thing on the right? And the thing will spring out. It might go airborne. And, uh, you know, they call it like a Jesus battery. Because once it flies out, you can say, oh, Jesus, you might not be able to find it. So uh, it'll pop out, wait a little bit, pop it out for 30 seconds or whatever. Let things uh, degauss fade off, go into their ether, whatever. So I just pull that battery out for like 30 seconds, put it back in, plug the power cable back in, put my hardware in I want, my new GPU, whatever, plug it into the slot, whatever's not being recognized, or yeah, put that in and then power up. You'll get the BIOS thing again, as always, because it's gonna say you just, cleared the, you just cleared the CMOS. You have to go in and maybe tweak some stuff 
in general, it's just going to ask you. You can skip it and then go right to your boot up. If your boot up sequence is accurate, it'll boot up from your SATA drive or whatever, and you're good to go. So anyway, three ways to do it. New, new motherboards have that little button right there or a jumper. And you just can just use a screwdriver or a pen and then jump two pins. That's how I boot this one up. To boot up this motherboard, I just jump two pins, boom, it boots up. I don't have a plug a switch on like this. I don't have one of these on like right here. See that? I just jump it with a thing. Jumping is, uh, you're just shorting out the two pins. You're just not short. I mean, you're just connecting them. And then that way it'll boot up. And then that's how you clear the CMOS sometimes. Button using the, pl the plastic tab I did on the old motherboard. Or yeah, I could have just went in with a little screwdriver and went, dink, and then cleared the CMOS. And then you got your battery. All right, 10-minute video on a simple little thing. Clearing the CMOS, but this is typically done. Why? Recognizing new hardware. If you had a motherboard running lots of different hardware, and then you're swapping things around, uh, and it's not recognizing things, you want to clear the CMOS. All right, makes sense. Hope this helps. Uh, yeah, if you like this stuff, go ahead and join the, join the channel, man. It helps me out, and I'll put more, uh, more uh, detailed information out for members only. Uh, the good stuff. The good stuff that will make you money. Make you talented and get you a job because this stuff is gold. If you know how to do this crap, you can get a job. People don't know how to do this stuff. Uh, yeah, good trade to know, good tech stuff to know. Little stuff, it's easy, but no one reads the manuals anymore. All right, go for it, do great thing. Clear your CMOS only if you need to, if you're um, not seeing your new hardware recognized. And then don't add too much hardware. What I would do if you clear the CMOS and you're back up and running with your OS. As you do, add hardware one bit at a time. Don't be plugging one, two, three, four, five, six uh, GPUs in at once if you're doing a multiple, multiple uh, displays and stuff like that. One at a time. Make sure it works. Boom. Shut down. Put the second one in. Boom. Just keep going. That's my recommendation. All right. Go for two great things. And also with that, hold on, is uh, make sure your, your drivers, especially for GPUs, are up to date nvidia and all that stuff have been downloaded uh, that will help with your display adapters on windows especially i'm not too um, sure about the linux and that i think it's, it should be good to go all right go forth do great things uh, see you on the next one